to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. It's the day of love. It's the day of love. It's the down and live. Happy Valentine's Day, Jabes. Thank you. Are, record, are we recording on the day of love? We are. We are. Still working, huh? Still working. Still need to come into work. You gotta, you gotta bring home that bacon, <laughs> James. You gotta bring home the bacon on Valentine's Day. Because I'm hungry. I need a little bacon. For those of you at home wondering why we're talking about Valentine's Day on Monday, well, we record the Monday show on Friday. So Jabes can have some time to herself to unwind. Um, you go to you go parachuting a lot. Who gets time to themselves? You go boating a lot, and I'm usually <laughs> with the kids. Everyone who knows me knows. You're deep sea fishing. I'm with. I'm at home with the children. That if there's a boat around, yep. I'm on it. You're on it, and you parachute a lot, and you are into extreme rock climbing, which is. Which is very extreme. If um, I ever got my motion sickness like cured, <laughs> I think I would because I haven't been able to do any of that stuff, you know? Yeah. I wouldn't do the rock climbing thing, but I think I would go on boats more. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I think so. And maybe planes. Yeah. Maybe elevators. <laughs> <laughs> I would take the stairs less. I would swing on a swing with my child, you know? I would rock on a rocking chair. Yeah. You know what I mean? You think about all the... Th you don't think about this. Yeah. It's like when someone's like gluten-free or whatever. You don't think about all the things they can't have. Or vegan. Strict vegan, right? Yeah. You don't think about yeah. all that stupid shit. You can't have honey. No. Right? Comes from a bee. Comes from a bee. Bee's an animal. Right. Is it? So... I mean, uh. so there's a lot of things with motion sickness that you don't think of mm -hmm. that I can't do. And I, you can't drive in a car. Drive in a car. Be, be a passenger. <laughs> That's true, by the way. So on some of these long drives, you'll be like, hey, man, I got to drive. I have to like, drive. And what? you know where I learned this? No. On the MIG that we had to fly in 50K in a call girl, right? Oh, really? Which I do feel like this maybe was... A fighter jet? Like a fraud. Like I was a fraud to you because I like pretended not to be a motion sickness queen like when we first got together. Yeah, that's a great question. That what, is a great question. What, we won't get into it. So anyways... So you were... <laughs> you knew you've had this? No. No. It was like a little bit and then I told you to after kids... And a lot of people have attested to this. Uh -huh. After kids, it got so much worse. Just, and it gets better, but like right after Jax, maybe when he was like four months, five months, six months or whatever, it was so bad. I don't know why. Because it, it is what I've do. often wondered, okay? Sure. You're hot and sexy as fuck, right? One of the hottest girls on the planet, in I my mean, opinion. Okay. We'll say in your There opinion. was part of me that wondered when I met you, like, I don't understand why she's married. Is she harboring a secret? Why I'm not married. Yeah, why you're not married. Okay, you said married. Oh, I did? Fuck, man. Eesh. It, it's, it's. <laughs> hey! Don't out. start any rumors. Blacking out. Don't start here. any rumors. Okay. I was, I've been up super late. late. Jeez. We're going to get through this today. I was, I've been up, uh, yeah. Start again. No, I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> just joking. Start the show again. <laughs> okay. I've been up super late writing right. the third St. James book, so uh, right. forgive me. Okay. But, um, yeah, I, I wondered why you weren't married when I met you, uh -huh. and I was like, I don't Well, under I was super young. I was basically like a child. Child bride. Mm -hmm. um, so that was might have been it, too. I was just like too young. Yeah, yeah, of course, of mm -hmm. course. Uh, Carry on. I was wondering if you were harboring a secret. Right. If I had a bag of hair. Well, no. The baby teeth. Motion sickness is a big one. It is, but it wasn't that bad then. Because there, I would right now, I would not be able to jump out of a plane, go in a hol helicopter, fly a MIG, do mushrooms. In do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Be a passenger. Remember, I was a passenger the yeah. whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
uh, flying. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't that bad. Like it was a little bit like in the MIG, but in the helicopter, I was fine then. Now I would not be. Okay. So it is something that got worse over time. And I think at some point I am going to have to get it checked out and just be like, do I have a parasite in my ear or something? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, what is it? Or is it a, is it really a hormonal imbalance or like something weird? Right. Yeah. So no, I wasn't lying to you. Okay. But I was definitely trying to be my best self. Right. Yeah. Cause I, I'm like, I'm now I'm starting to feel like you trapped me in, in marriage and mm -hmm. then boom, as soon as we got married, you were like, I can't drive. Ugh. Emotion sickness. Don't make me tell the truth. Don't make me tell the truth. What? You me too me. I wasn't trying to do anything with you, sir. Jesse, that is a I'm lie. I'm sorry. Don't make me tell the truth. That is a lie. I was at work. What? What? I was at work. What, what do you mean work? I was at work on the movie. Oh, 50K. yeah, 50K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my job. You, I was hired. You had called and, and said before, though, you had shared your love with me before the movie started. I did not share my love with you. Oh, you would not stop calling and texting. What are you doing? That's what, it was a lot of that. Where are no. you? Are you safe? I miss you. You're wine staining me right now. And, you know. You're wine, you, were, you were the boss. I feel like I got trapped with this girl with this crazy disease now. And mm -hmm. now I am stuck, you know? Mm -hmm. We have children and I've got to live with this crazy life. Think about this. Let me tell you something else right now. <laughs> you aren't stuck. <laughs> no one. Let me look into the camera. No one <laughs> is keeping you here. <laughs> North Carolina's 50-50 state. A uh, bye bye <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Carry on. No, carry on. Would you have married me? If. If. You got sick all the time? Yeah, no. no. Uh, wait, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go your worst one. Here's your worst one, okay? What if I, what's the one where you can't eat dairy? Cheese oh, and. Oh, lactose intolerant. Would you would you have dated and or married me if I could not go out with you and enjoy pasta, pizza, cheese? Oh, so you're saying you're gluten? You have a gluten allergy and what's, lactose yeah, intolerance? What's the one where you just shit your pants all night? And if you eat dairy. Yeah, that's it? Lactose intolerant. Yes. You probably wouldn't have, right? No. Yeah. Are you? No, I'm not. Yeah. But I have, we have a friend who is, right? So- a good friend. I'm not going to say who he is because that's his own fucking life, right? <laughs> One of my best friends. Um, mm -hmm. You don't. Uh, by the way, the listeners don't know him. I don't think. Um, either way, when he traveled with us, this is a really funny story. So he traveled with us for a couple of these cities and shot some of our stuff for us. Okay. Just to do it. Um, he's, oh yes. He's a successful businessman. Sure. He just was like, dude, your life is awesome. You get to do all this cool shit. Can I just come and got do it. that job for free? Got and I was it. Like, got it. Yeah, got dude. It. Fuck yeah. Um. Anyways. So this is a really funny story. We go and we shoot this guest. I forget who it was. Um, it was famous. Had a great night. Went to this game. It was, you know, had fucking field passes. Amazing seats. So all fun. that shit. He was like, hey, man, this is literally one of the best days of my entire life. I want to celebrate with you guys. And I was like, oh. I was like, well, we're fucking, we've been drinking all day. Like, you can, yeah, you can right. drink whatever you want. And he goes, no, I want to really celebrate. And he goes, my real celebration is eating and eating pizza because I don't get to or else I shit my pants immediately and I was oh. like oh I was like okay is that are you sure you want to do that and he no, goes thanks here's the thing he goes I love eating pizza so much is like somebody celebrating you know work with like shots or something like that right oh, he goes okay. that is my celebration and with you, shots because I can't do it how funny that it's sort of the same like you know you're gonna feel sick yeah when you take shots. Yes. But you do it anyway. Yes. Because you're celebrating. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Go ahead. So I go, all right, man, are you sure? And like we had a separate, we had separate hotel room, so I didn't really care. Right. right. Do and your thing. So we go out that night, order a monster, unbelievable pizza and nachos <sighs> with the cheese. I mean, everything you sure. could imagine with cheese and, you sure. know. All of the things, sour cream, mm -hmm. everything, like on the checklist of no-nos. And as we're doing it, he's laughing, just laughing to himself. I love him so much, and, what you're talking about right now. Uh, totally. And I go, I go, man, he had the biggest smile on his face, and he was laughing the entire night. We were drinking, having some beers, pizza, nachos, all this stuff. And I go, 
I'm gonna be honest, I've never seen you this happy in your life. And he goes, man, this is what I miss out on every single day. Right. And he goes, living with this sucks. And I go, I go, so you're laughing now, but what's gonna happen? Yeah, what is that gonna look tonight like? Tonight and into the morning. And he goes, I he goes, I wouldn't wish my own worst enemy to be inside the bathroom with me as I sit down and just I can't evacuate my bowels. I can't. Yeah. But you know, again, it's it's productive. That's productive. What do you mean? Anything as far, as, far that as makes, cleaning out your system? Yeah, and, like anything yeah. that makes you shit a bunch. He's always thin. Puke a bunch, whatever. Yeah. Like, it's a productive illness, yeah. right? I will say this. So with you and your motion sickness, uh-huh. it doesn't bother me. I, I, don't, I don't really care about that. Um, there, would, there would be other things that I care about. Mm-hmm. Um, where if you had something else, I'd be like, man. Pour beef, a hemp loaf? Beef this. Anything? Yeah, yeah. Like you have an waist. example? Sexual things, Jesse. If I had a penis? No. Um, then but you wouldn't it, be into it? Some people have some internal things down below where they're just like, you know. Oh, so if I had like IBS or something? No. Like if you cramped up and we couldn't have sex. I'm, I mean, I'm, I was trying to not be graphic about it, but like uh, there's some people that have issues with cramping and weird stomach issues and they mm-hmm. can't have sex and things like that mm-hmm. like that would be a fucking negative in my book where i'm like no i don't want to deal with that every night of mm-hmm. like i don't feel good again i have friends that are married to women like that and mm-hmm. it's it, it's 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 tough they're just like do you think it's maybe your friend what do you think it's maybe your friend's issue no but imagine and if the you ladies like he, here's not the really no 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 to... no it, it is not for sure like i know okay. i know these people and i know ah. what they're going through like um it's some internal organ issue where it's just like you know and uh and they can't have sex and it affects their relationship and like that would be a fucking negative right there yeah for sure um there's a lot of things that but here's the IBS other yes would be a fucking no no yeah be out, i'd be out of there but here's the other thing if you were to develop something like that right now yeah it'd be fine you know but i think when you're in the like i i'm not gonna like leave you over like no. motion sickness or like anything of, being of course wrong not. of with course you, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah but like in the dating process that's yes. why i don't understand when people put up with such craziness Me neither. in the dating stage because yeah. you go Oh my God, like, take it from me. Once you're stuck, you're stuck. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? No, I'm joking. But like, you you have no kids, you have no, I mean, unless you're living together, but even then it's like, mm-hmm. if you're living together in California or New York, I get it. If you're living together anywhere else, figure it out, just leave. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be the only thing that would kind of keep you together. But other than that, I'm always just like, yeah, go. Unless it's something petty or something that you're actually like right. being too picky and you're never going to find someone. There's yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But if it's stuff that's a real deal breaker or like, oh, he's like kind of controlling and he won't let me do this and like all this stuff. That you're Get just out like, of there. Yeah. Then go. Yeah. Go. Because if you have a kid, if you get married, you can't leave. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, you can, but you it's can, like, but it's, it's you tough. can't just be telling people with kids or whatever, like, get out, leave them, like, da, da, da. Like, you have to actually, it, it's, it, a, yeah, big it's a big process, deal, yeah. and yeah. you have to, like, try and... I agree. I think it's important for people to know their deal breakers and then be honest with the other people about it. Like, I've, I've told people in relationships where I'm like, this, you have this one thing, and I don't think it's going to work, and I was honest about it. Right. The people were not happy about it, but I said, look... Would you rather not me me tell you now than this to go down the road and be right. like, hey, man, fucking five years in, I don't like this thing, and it's going to, like, I hate you? Yeah. I think nowadays people go a little bit too far with this, right? So they, like, we are in a culture now of, like, people not getting married, right? So they say sting, single longer, they get married later. Are we, though? Because what? Uh, are we what? Are you, do you think we're, we are really in that culture? Or do people yeah. just communicate it more? Like, I feel like people My bitch, bitch about it more. But the people who are bitching about it actually want to be in relationships. They're just not. Um, yes and no. So if you compare it to back in the day when people would be married by 25. Like, married. Mm-hmm. Married by 25. If you don't have kids by 30, 
that was late yes. back in the day. Yes. So that's moving later. People are staying I, I, single I, longer. They're not getting married. And once you are single for, and here's the other, the problem with it, right? So once you are single past a certain age, let's say like 28, 29, 30, once you're single in your 30s, uh-huh. you've lived so long by yourself, right? Or not in a real committed relationship that you have to actually try therapy, things like this. Right. Right. So, um, you end up or what I'm hearing and what I see from women now is like their deal breakers are just so many that they're almost sabotaging themselves. Do you Mm -hmm. know what I mean? Where we've gone to culture now where it's like, I'm fine. Like Tinder, like I, it's cool to just live with my cats. Like I'm fine. I deserve better. Right. Where it's like, Oof. there's no, um, there's no acceptance of people for flaws. Where it's like everyone's gonna have a flaw. Like if a guy gets too drunk one night and like is a little bit annoying, like okay, right? Right. Or girl, or whatever it may be. Like we're cutting people off like so quickly, when in fact we all have flaws, and there is you know, bad things in everybody's personality, right? Good and bad. Right. And it's really about finding someone that you can put up with the bad because you love them so much, right? Yeah. Um, And so what I'm seeing and just more people, you know, women talking about it or, oh, I can't find anybody. Why is it? And then they'll date someone and it's like they cut it off so quickly because they're just like not good enough for them. And they hold themselves to like, a higher standard when in fact you're gonna have to put up with believe me if you are going to share your life with a human there's going to be issues mm-hmm. there's gonna be baggage there's gonna be bad stuff yeah you can attest to that no i just and look, so can i right like we are, each yeah you have to work at it and, and so it's, we're um, looking for like this perfect like checking off all our boxes you know what i mean where it's like that may happen, but there's going to be some bad stuff with that. And thinking that you're going to find someone that has nothing bad, no skeletons, no anything. That's when you're going to be a cat lady. Yeah. At yeah. 50, you know what I mean? You have to be able to look at people as a whole. And if they aren't right for you, like values, principles, things you want out of life, things like this, fine. But if it's something petty or something like they messed up one time or I don't know, you have to let people grow into a relationship. See, I feel like it depends on where you're from with the age thing or or you you had to be married by 25 or 30 or kids by 30 and things like that. In the South, I feel that it is still like that. Um, I think so. And the reason being is, look, I grew up in Georgia my entire life. Mm -hmm. I would say the majority of the people I went to high school with. Mm -hmm married by 25 to 27 kids and all that other stuff right and if you sure. and if you weren't you felt like alone and uh isolated and things like that like i yeah. only I, there's one uh, one yeah just one friend from high school who's not married where it's just like yeah uh, it's crazy but and when i moved probably to, like look down on him or her as like yeah and so when i i came from georgia to ohio state and in ohio it felt the same way, very similar. Mm-hmm. It was just like, all right, cool. People were getting married out of college and, and things like that. And again, like that. I don't think there's anything wrong with Me that, neither. by the way. Me neither. Like, that is like, no, when it, you are in a relationship that you have to work for. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't. But. Yeah. Uh, now, when I saw it change for me was when I went to grad in New York. And I was like, oh, all right. There was a bunch of women in their 30s who were just boss-ass bitches who were just like, I don't really have time for a fucking dude and anything else. And I'm making a, a shit ton of money. And you're like... Oh, okay, cool. I understand that mm-hmm. aspect of it. And then LA is a whole different beast. We move to Los Angeles. Jesus Christ. Everybody thinks, you know, they can hit the clubs at fucking 45 years yeah. old and everything's fine. And it, it may be if you're rich, it's just a different city, different town, mm-hmm. different vibe mm-hmm. all, the, all the way around. Yeah. So I think it depends on where you live and who you are uh, as a person. But yeah, uh, yeah LA. And you can attest to this. The men and women there both mm-hmm. think they are better than what they actually are. Yeah. And relationship wise, mm-hmm. you're like, hey, man, you're probably not the dude you think you are right now. So you should you should probably have been a little nicer to homegirl or or right. whatever, because you were definitely not that dude who is mm-hmm. 
the fucking coolest. Yeah, you'll never age at 48 at the clubs. Like, yeah, you definitely have. Yeah, but it's like the channel surfing problem, right? Where in LA and New York, there's just so many different channels. Yeah. That like when you're on one, like you kind of want to see, I mean, there's just endless. Yeah. You could change the channel and be on something, you know? So back in the day when people are 20, getting married, 25 and stuff like that, they had three channels. Yeah. On, with the bunny ears. No, I get and it. And you I, had to be okay with that and find entertainment in that one channel. When we watch The Bachelor together is when I feel that it, it hasn't changed. Where as soon as they, it pops up from what state these girls are from, right? I'm like, oh, yeah. this yeah. makes sense why you're super worried about not being married at 25 years old. Right, and you want it's to. All, it's always Alabama or Tennessee. Or yeah. It's all the southern states where it's just like, hey, man. Very rarely is there a girl from California that's like, yes. Yeah, yeah. I need to be engaged right now at 22. They're usually like, I'm good. I'm good. I'll go on paradise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, just easier and more acceptable there. Like, it's actually weird if you're married in LA before 30. Yeah. Uh, well, with you, look, I've married my best friend, and I feel like I married the hottest girl on the planet, so I don't have those fucking problems. Uh, yeah. And it's rad. So I can't be a passenger. Yeah, I don't. So really, I need to take Dramamine. I don't really care about that. There's nothing else wrong with me. I feel bad for you, but I don't really care about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, because like, really think about it. What do you want to do that I can't do? Well, the other thing too is you don't is this. love a boat, Here, huh? You don't love a boat. I do actually, um, but so it, it, it's not a deal breaker for me. Uh-huh. Like, I'm not a. It's not something I want to do every day. If you hated the beach. Like going right. to the beach, then I then I'd be like, all right, what the fuck, bro. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, yeah, eh, boats are fine, but it's not mandatory for me. Um, the driving thing is actually great because then you just get to sit in the passenger yes. and answer emails. It's I great. know it's the best. Or I can I booze. try. I try and not. I can booze because I know people. you're driving. Right. It's great. So I, I don't mind. I don't mind that. Um, and I have no desire to go. Uh, jumping out of planes again skydiving helicopter no thank you never we already again did it. and we uh, you know what's weird not only did we do it but we did it together so yes yeah, so we like have all of those things we've already ticked those boxes and yeah. it's not a you know a helicopter's not a big deal for me jumping out of airplanes not a big deal for me I, cu- I could or never do it again it wasn't it was it wasn't one of those things where i was like oh fuck man yeah. i need to get back up there tomorrow like i loved it it doesn't matter to me. Yeah. Like Tiffany's getting her like tandem license or something. And she's like, will you jump with me? And I was like, oh, my gosh, I jumped out of a plane before I had kids. So, like, I don't know. I definitely had to think about it. Yeah. And I was like, let me get back to you on it. <laughs> right. Because I was like, yeah, I go. Yeah, totally. And then I was like, oh, wait. What a dick move would that be? Yeah. Right. Um. The other the other thing I want to say i'm i'm amped about you about is uh like today's valentine's day right yeah for a lot of people it is like this crazy stressful like we've got to put on a fucking show and do all this shit Mm -hmm. you literally were like hey man you're my best friend we love our kids let's just go to dinner with the kids and hang out and uh and just chill out because we work so much that it's like yeah great let's just have a nice friday night and yeah and not worry about it yeah um and we definitely uh, do date nights, get babysitters. Like so we, we are not we do the dates, people. Yeah, we do date nights a lot. So don't it's like, do it. yeah. <laughs> so, so it's not like this one, you yeah, know, yeah, this yeah. one day we're saving up yeah. for six months, and it's like, yeah. Well, that's our date night, right? I well, we're enjoy luck- going I will on say dates this. with you, so we go out all the time. I will say this: we're lucky enough to be able to do that because it's not. Oh yeah, you need a babysitter. You need a babysitter, and it's not cheap, and no, it adds not. a lot to right. the night. So yes. like, I have to say. Thank God we are able to do it because I see people that aren't able to or don't make it a priority in their budget. And like it really the relationship really does. Doesn't suffer, but they could do with a night out not without the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just for sure. saying. I for think sure. it's really, really important, even if it's like have a friend watch them for like two hours or something. You know what I mean? Do something yeah, yeah, yeah. where you're just together and try not to talk about the kids. Yeah. Try and be like normal people. Who said it? I'm like Allison Luckadoo. She's always like, uh, not vacation sex, but basically like vacation husband, where like once they go on vacation somewhere, she's like, yeah. 
hello, how are you? Yeah. Where have you been, right? And you're like totally different. And you have to, and she's like, we have to have that uh, every once in a while to put up with all of the craziness that happens. Because if you just keep going on in the craziness and uh -huh. you forget about that person, it's very easy to just be like, it's easy to forget about it. Yeah, no, it's true. It's true. But uh, Valentine said, where are we going tonight? Um, I left it up to you. I said, hey, where, wherever you want to go, okay, I'm, I'm so down because we're taking the kids out. We're taking the kids out only because once they're in school, it turns into kind of like a fun party day for them. And they're yep. very involved in it. And it's like Valentine's. So it kind of turns into kids day a little bit. And we go on a date another time. But so I asked him where he wanted to go. And he said, Whiskey Creek. Oh, that's great. I love Whiskey Creek. my favorite. Yeah. Most consistent food here on the planet. Love Whiskey Creek. Unassuming. Like, it's one of those places that you would be like, oh, what, what is this? Yeah. But the best food, no matter who's cooking, no matter who's working. It's great. The exact same. Yep. And this is even a tender. But somehow that's very important, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chicken tandy. The chicken tender, homemade batter, cooked the exact same every time. And if you, you wonder- You never go and go, oh, that wasn't that good today. It's insane. Yeah, if you wonder why we freak out about little things like this, is the food in this town is not great. And this is the one place that is consistently good every single time there. And uh, yeah, and then oddly enough, like one of our best friend's brothers owns it. Yeah. We didn't know forever. Yeah. And I was like, what? What? I think his name's Chris, right? Um, it's terrible that I don't know because I, I played cards with No, him. I know. Me too. And I don't... Here's the weird thing. Like, I meet a gajillion people a day. I, I probably have whatever Biden's got right now. Some onset, like early onset dementia. I can't remember names. Some terrible faces. Jesse will tell you. Um, her, your facial recognition in movies and TV is Unparalleled. outstanding. Unparalleled. Yeah. I can see, I can recognize someone from the back in a movie, the back of their head. Yeah. I can be like, oh, that's the person from, or if they have crazy makeup, even in CGI. Yeah. <laughs> now you're good at, now you're good at voice recognition. So on like commercial where someone's doing a voice and I'm like, who, where you're always like, who is that? That voice is so familiar. Yeah. You will get those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, speaking of movies, did you read this Rose McGowan thing with uh, Natalie Portman? Natalie Portman and Rose McGowan. I did. And I'm so into this feud. Now listen, two feminists, right? Yeah. And someone asked me, I think it was Tiffany, was like, what is anti-feminism really? Like, what is that? Here's what it is. That. Women like these two have given the word feminist uh -huh. a bad name. Because right? all they do is tear each other down. They tear each other down. And if you're not um, as good of a feminist as me, then I'm going to fucking talk shit to you. Like they're supposed to be what I really am is like no matter what you are, no matter what you want to do, no matter what you want to wear, like get out there and fucking do it. Yeah. Right. Keep your head down. Get to work. Um, so this Rose McGowan thing is, well, first it's Natalie Portman responding to Rose McGowan. Well, we should, we should start with this. So Natalie Portman shows up at the Oscars. Shows up at the Oscars. She's not really an activist. She hasn't been really vocal. She's not protesting that much or anything, but she shows up to the Oscars in a cape mm -hmm. that has the women she believes were snubbed. The women directors she believes were snubbed. For Oscars. At the Oscars. And yeah. they're really tiny embroidered right here on the jacket. On the lapel, yeah. Everyone asked her about it. She was on every magazine. She got so much press. Yeah. She didn't even have a movie at the Oscars. No. Wasn't even really supposed to be there, to be no, honest. Had no. nothing to do with any of the nope. movies. But she's a past nominee, and I'm sure, and winner, and they're all, yeah. they always just, you're in the alumni, right? Sure. So she was going to get pretty much no play at this Oscars, right? Yeah. It was going to be like, ooh, Natalie Portman, cute. Yeah. She got some play, right? She worked it out. Oh, yeah. So that she got some press. Yeah, and yeah. She was back in there. So Rose McGowan obviously was like called uh, Natalie Portman show of support um, an actress acting the part of someone who cares. Blammo. I don't usually like Rose McGowan. Yep. You know, I don't love her. I think she's a little bit crazy. She's a full-time activist now. Yeah, she's fucking nuts. She's nuts. Yeah. But again, she's 
doing what she like she's walking the walk whatever that walk is right i guess she's not natalie portman that's what i'm gonna say right she's not like staying in the elite but then like showing a little lapel yeah do you know what i mean yeah yeah yeah. Uh, rose mcgowan is definitely out there she's like started a foundation she is a full-time activist now she is not acting or doing anything like that anymore Yep. yep not great but anyways so Natalie Portman responds to this. I mean, Rose McGowan, I find Portman's type of activism deeply offensive to find to those of us who actually do the work. I'm not writing this out of bitterness. I'm writing out of disgust. Oh. I like that, that too. I like that too. I just want her and other actresses to walk the walk. Um. That's what she said. She describes Portman's effort as the kind of protest that gets rave reviews from the mainstream media for its bravery. Um, Because it's not really brave, right? It's no skin off her back. No. It's what everyone's talking about. It doesn't go against any, like, it's literally just what everyone is saying. Yeah. And it seemed pandering to me. Like, it seemed very, what did you think about it? Bleh? Yeah. Do you just think meh? Me? The cape oh. and the thing. Here's exactly what I think about it. Please. Uh, did a little research into Natalie Portman and Ports, because uh, she's had a production company, by the way. Okay. Same with me. Mm-hmm. She's done 11 films. Mm-hmm. 11. Mm-hmm. You know how many directors were female out of those 11 films that she produced out of her production company? Two. One. One? Yeah. Oh, okay. You know who directed it? Hmm. Natalie Portman. Oh, and she was the only woman. Correct. Okay. okay. At her company. Ah. So the other 10 films. Right. Were men. Huh. In her production company. In her production Interesting. company. Interesting. Now, she it seems like she would have some say in who she would owns be directing, it. right? She owns it. It's her mm-hmm. company. Mm-hmm. She's the one that's hiring these people. So, sure. Uh, or definitely has the <sighs> last say. Um, Nellie Portman also said that she... <laughs> She has worked on, she's tried to work with women, um, but the films never got made. Well, she was able to make 11 other films, Mm -hmm. um, and one got made with a female director, and it was her. So, yeah, she's she's been able to make some movies and get some movies made, so um, strange that it's uh, right now that she wants to start hiring women. But not hiring, by the way. Just wearing the nope, cape. Nope, just wearing the cape. You know? No, she's not going to hire anybody or no. do anything like that or made a pledge to only work with but female directors or anything. But she definitely um, went to her Asian um, seamstress and had yep, and had those names embroidered. No, I bet that was a woman. Into the cape. I bet the, the, the person who maybe, made the cape was a woman. You know? Maybe. <laughs> Depending on how hard it was, it might have been a man. <laughs> Because um, <laughs> let's face it, I would rather have a, a gay man design my shit. Sure. So rather than a woman, mm-hmm. no offense, ladies, but yeah, the hands of a gay man, as far so as true. fashion goes, come it's on, so true. best in the biz, yeah. best in the biz. Do you want to hear her response now? Oh, Portman? I'd love, I'd love to. Pandering again. It's very pandery. Or um, I'm surprised she shot back. She doesn't really do shit like this. Well, she's in it now, right? Like she knew she knew she was going to be in the conversation from this cape. Mm-hmm. So, she was ready for it, I think. Uh, right? Yeah. Because she's doing all these interviews about it and every interview on the red carpet was about it or whatever. I agree with Miss McGowan that it is inaccurate to call me brave for wearing a garment with women's names on it. Portman said to CNN. Uh, brave is a term I more strongly associate with actions like those of the women who have been testifying against Harvey Weinstein the last few weeks under incredible pressure. The last few years have seen a blossoming of directing opportunities for women due to the collective after- efforts of many people who have been calling out the system. The gift has been this incredi- these incredible films. I hope that what was intended as a simple nod to them does not distract from the great achievements. It is truly, it is true. I've only made a few films with women, not a few. Yeah. One. One with yourself. Right. Yep. Yeah. You haven't at all. Yeah. 
In my long career, I've only gotten the chance to work with female directors a few times. I've made shorts, commercials, music videos. Yep. But there's no... And features with Ma- Mara Cohen? Mm-hmm. Anyways, unfortunately, the unmade films I have tried to make there are a ghost is. story. There it is. Uh, Mara Cohen, I believe, is a producer. Um, I can double check that. But Sophia uh, Coppola, Sheeran Nishat. So she's like naming all of them yeah, but, she's worked with. But right, the but films sh- never got made, she said. Yes. And the... a short is not the same. A commercial no. is not the same. No. Music video, please. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. It's just so stupid, and like I said, it w- it felt it didn't feel good when I saw her with the cape, uh huh, and like the names and like how how much play she was getting from it. It felt really weird. Yeah, it would have felt more normal for Rose McGowan to be out there doing some weird like the blood of all the women on her or something. Yeah. That would feel like, okay, that's someone who's in this shit and doing it. And this felt, what is everyone talking about at the Oscars this year? All right, put it on my cape. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> what are we pissed about this year? Put it on my cape. Because then she had the Time's out, Up thing. She did the whole, she does all the things. Yeah, she does all the things. She does all the things, but not until someone else does it. She's not a trailblazer. She's nope. not out there risking her neck for anything. Clearly, her production company is not, you know, trying to get films made or championing Female women. Female directors, yeah. Yeah, in any way. No. So... It's all a bunch of fucking bullshit, to be honest with you. Man. Um, uh, anyways, we get some sponsors, Jabes. Good for you. Good for you. First and foremost, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Going to be gonna be using that ghost bed a lot tonight. Yeah. Just gross out the audience. Um, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Finest mattresses in the business. Covers, sheets, adjustable bases. The pillows. Lay down. Put your body on a pillow. We can use it as a. Is it called a fuck mat? What are they called? What? Were those triangles, pillows, you know? Oh, uh, the. Dang, liberator yeah. or something? What is it? Is it a liberator? Maybe. I think you're right, yeah. I think I am right. Yeah, I wish they made that. Look into it, Ghostbed. Other than that, it's 25% off everything in the store. So if you're not laying your lady down or your man on a ghost bed, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today and get it 25% off of everything. As always, the 36 month page to go program <laughs> has no interest and it includes the 25%. If you're, if you're out there and you're like, I can't use the 25%. Yes, you can. Um, and you can make a fucking baby on that thing tonight. Uh, it comes in a box. Boom. You pop it open two hours later. You're ready to screw. I like the word screw. It's not used enough. Uh, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. 25% off everything for the entire month of February. Fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I never want to fuck myself. <laughs> uh, next up, we got strikeforceenergy.com. Jabes. Give me a little bomb noise or something. Boom, 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 boom. Shabloinkers, y'all dead. Yeah, fucking Bye. dead. Bye. Bye, son. Um, if you are dead and feel like you need to come back to life, get some strike force in that belly of yours. Four amazing flavors. Grape, orange, lemon, orange. And uh, they get a 10-pack, 40-pack, 750-milliliter bottle. You can boom, boom. Pop a couple squirts in and go. No carbs, no sugars, no gluten. You're not going to shit yourself like my buddy. He drank it all the time, by the way. So I can, I can verify that there was no gluten in it. He, he never shat himself. And he drank that shit all fucking day long. Go to StrikeForceEnergy.com, dude. It's great in fucking White Claws and Seltzers and shit. They get a subscription of the month and uh, use the promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off there. Did you give that one to Brooke? Yeah. Okay, cool. Finally. She's stoked about it? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. I'm sure she's... Squirting it all day long. Yeah. Her tolerance for it is uh, high, very high. Yeah. Whereas, like, I'm like, oh, just take half. She's like, oh my gosh, I take like two. 
a time. Oof. Yeah. By the way, when you're describing other girls, they just wouldn't say squirting too much, but that's just me. Yeah. You know? Now you're talking about that uh, cover that, from ghostbed.com that keeps the mattress safe and dry all day long. Right. Last but not least, we got straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. <laughs> And sneak up on you, James? <laughs> after 475 episodes? You know what I was thinking about? I'll tell you after. Oh, you right, kids? <laughs> <laughs> Shouts out to Gordon Wagner, dude. I still see your time code on YouTube, and I love still you for it. He's the best. I love you, love Gordon you. Wagner. Uh, you SOB. I love you. Uh, Straightrazors.com uh, got me through the stash. The stash times? The stash times. The... <laughs> <laughs> the sad times. The sad times. The, the stash, stash times. times. Yeah. Uh, the, all the, the times. The good times. All the times on your face. It was the best of times. It was the stash of it was times. The stash of times. Uh, they got beard oils, mustache waxes. Um, fucking the straight razors are second to none. If you're worried about it, you can use a safety razor. They got those fucking things too. Um, you know, not gonna lie, I've tried both. Um, just, just the best in the biz. You can also get them engraved, by the way. So if you're looking to get a gift for uh, Father's Day or something like that, get a fucking straight razor, get it engraved for your, your father who you never talked to. Maybe he'll start calling you again. Go to straightrazors.com, promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off, 20% off. Uh, I want to talk about your girl. We talked about her, uh, oddly enough, the last couple weeks here, off and on from the Grammys and, um, and the Oscars. And, uh, dude, the overexposure. I think we might have talked about this like two episodes ago. Billie Eilish. Mm-hmm. Overexposure is real. What happened? Fuck, man. Um, last night, so I'm up late writing, and mm -hmm. her song drops for. She is the Bond girl. She's doing the the James Bond theme. Yeah, that's been for a while. I, I understand, but the song oh. is out now. Oh, Have you yeah. heard it? Um, I heard a teaser of it. Yeah, so it it the full version came out last night. Okay. Um, she is a she's a good singer. It is just so depressing. It's James Bond. We're all going to die. There's nothing like soaring about it. Like I felt like I, I'll I'll say this. When I looked at it, I had to keep going back to the time code and be like, fuck, how long is this thing? Yeah, she's no Adele. No. And and the production of it, um, with her brother, who's getting a lot of goddamn press. He's with her everywhere. Because he does all of her stuff. That's fine and all, but it's like He's getting a little too much shine for me. I saw him uh, the other day. Uh, I think it was at the Oscars, and he was talking about politics and shit. And I was just like, "Whoa, you're the oh, was he? you're the guy behind the the mm. girl. Like you're the fucking mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. you're not the out front guy who should be talking about politics and how much sure. you hate Trump and everybody else who votes for Trump. I don't, don't want to hear your fucking bullshit. You're not on stage. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, you make the shit, but like let's let's keep it in the back. Yeah, brother, right? You know, and they did this song together. And it's just, it, I, it, if memory serves me correctly, and again, this was late last night, uh, it's about a four and a half to five minute song, and it's just, the last like 30 seconds finally pick up where you're like, oh shit, all right, wish that was the other five minutes of the goddamn song, but uh, mm -hmm. it's just kind of boring and snoozy, like, um, I remember- I would it, argue that so is James Bond these days, but carry maybe. on. And, and, and it's funny you say that, so- that is I literally seen one since Pierce Brosnan. Well, I have, and they're dope. Like, who's the other one that's for my real? favorite? Oh God! <laughs> Go ahead, sorry. Yeah, um, <laughs> Timothy Dalton. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, everyone's yeah. least favorite, and I, hate, I, I hate loved Timothy him. Dalton. Um, either way, you might be right, and that's what I thought because they've had a lot of problems with this James Bond movie. Yeah, and they, I think Daniel Craig like broke his leg or something. I know this is his last yeah, one, old. and they're going to get somebody else. And then they get a spinoff with a black girl. Mm -hmm. She's going to be the new 008 or something. Um, it feels like this was, they're just trying to get this over the finish line. And like, yeah. it might disappear for a long time after this. Okay. Because you've got a super depressing theme song. I saw the trailer for it. I wasn't that amped about the movie itself. Like, it might be time to 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 take a couple years off, and that's I think that's a good thing. The last time they took a few years off, when the Daniel Craig one first came out, the first couple, I was mm -hmm. like, "Oh shit, this is dope as fuck." Yeah, I think it's time. It's run its course with with them, and maybe try to get Adele every single time now from going. I 
just a thought but uh, just a thought yeah the billy eilish thing it was just like man um dark solitary tormented depressing these are some of the reviews that are out about it right now and, and uh go ahead and give it a listen it's not that it's bad and no, i don't want to say that it's because... not bad and it's very quintessent billy right yeah but it's like are we maybe over it a little bit right now like i, I definitely think definitely she on needs that train to um i would say i need she needs to go away for just a second like make work on some music maybe you know what i mean right hang out with your family <sighs> does she go on tour i don't yeah. know just I, get out of my face every day, the brother you know yeah so just get out of my face a little bit yeah yeah just a little bit just, yeah just a little bit bit it's just you know? nice to, to, you know, you don't know how much you miss someone till they leave for a second. Yeah, you don't. But you got to leave so that I can. You don't. Um, I, I, I want to talk about a, a brief sports thing real quick because it involves your dad, actually. Okay, you have, I start the timer right now. Great, okay. great. How long do I have? I'll let you know. Okay, awesome. <laughs> awesome. Um, oh, your sorry, your dad is on. the biggest Yankees fan of all time. Yes. Watches, listens yes. to has every game. Only, the only thing he has is Yes Network. He doesn't have any other channels or anything. Radio. He will listen on radio. He will mm -hmm. watch it if he can. Like he will every, sit with his phone like this. Yep. Every single game, mm -hmm. every single thing. Um, the Astros came into spring training. Mm. The manager, uh, or not the manager, the owner and the players all fessed up to cheating this entire time. And they were like, oh, well, we feel bad about it and it was wrong, but we kept doing it and blah, 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 blah. Now the rest of the league has revolted, including some Yankees players. And it's like, I, I forgot how, you know, they won two World Series. They took MVPs against, um, they're calling for Mike Judge now um, for the Yankees to get the MVP over how Jose Altuve. He was the one that beat out Mike Judge mm -hmm. and like, it was really, it was a razor thin close race. No, I'm down. For I it. personally thought Judge deserved it that year. And I didn't realize the scope of how big this would become because now you're fucking over individual players and teams and accomplishments because you fucking cheated with buzzers. Mm -hmm. And um, n now they've all come out and said, give them the buzzers. I w I, we sent some pictures to your dad last night. I'm curious just to get his thoughts on it um, because I'm sure he would be as pissed as everyone else oh yes and i look at some i, I think about people like your dad mm -hmm. who live and die by this every mm -hmm. single day that the fucking anger like my team didn't win these last few years so mm -hmm. it doesn't affect me but the yankees certainly could have won the world series Well, but y yeah but you could also relate it to yourself yes, so like yes. that's his ohio state i know so it's like uh if something like that happened to you know one of your guys not getting something because of cheating or whatever. Yeah. When he should have. Right. Oh yeah. But yeah, then yeah. it's also like, dude, what, I mean, does it mean as much? Like the other thing is just like moving forward. Ask him, you know what? Ask him because I thought about this. It doesn't feel as good. I, th I thought about this last night. Ask yeah. your dad, me personally, I would be fine if they took away the MVP from Altuve and gave it to judge. Cause it, I remember how close they were that year. And it's like, yeah, Fuck it, give him the MVP. Yeah. Ask him. Um, I thought of him last night. It'd be interesting to see if he was just like, no, that would be weird. That'd be sloppy seconds. That'd be, it wouldn't mean as much in, as opposed to moving forward without cheating and bullshit and yeah. really getting it for real, you know? Yeah. I um, don't know. Baseball is in trouble, though. I can tell you this because that, there is no way out of this at this point in my opinion yeah um i don't know what you're gonna do i don't know what they're gonna do and uh this season's gonna be weird as shit because if i'm on the other team if i'm the yankees i fucking bean altuve every single at bat and say fuck you dude mm -hmm. you cost our city world series you cost our players mvps like i i throw at his head every single time um nothing has ever happened like this mm -hmm. you know in the sports where you know, you've had Pete Rose who bet on his own team, and then you had, I guess, Shoeless Joe Jackson. Yeah, but that victimless crime, right? Yeah, who I guess said he was throwing games, but you know, the, bidding the Black on his Sox. own team to win. Yeah, I, I would say lose. the Black Sox. You know, when they threw the the World Series, was the only other worst thing in this. And then, right, you know, I wasn't around in 1919, so I don't fucking know. But uh, you know, I wasn't for real. Oh, you weren't? No, I know. 
Uh, it seems like I'm St. James and I'll live forever, but chances are I won't, James. Chances are. I won't. <laughs> Um, uh, oh yeah, your timer just went off. Sorry. Good, good. Uh, yeah. We're all, I, I'm all, I'm all done with that. Oh, I got okay. it on the system. Great, great, great. I'm good with it. Mm-hmm. I'm good with it. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to talk since we're talking about my my hatred for Billie Eilish now. Oh, okay. Um, right before this, it <laughs> just it triggered something else. My hatred for Billie Bush now. For extra. Yep. I'm, I for am, the extra Billie Bush. What did he do? I'm done. I'm all done with. What Billie was Bush his now. final straw with so you? So he got thrown out. With the Trump thing and mm-hmm. him laughing on the bus about grabbing pussies and all that other stuff, right? Which he shouldn't have. He shouldn't have gotten in trouble at all. No, no, I, no. I agree with that. Um, I also agree that Billy Bush is a dirtbag and like he thought it was hilarious. And oh, for sure. Whatever, man. It's two but dudes that's... talking in a van that they think, or a bus that they think isn't mic'd up. Like, I could. That is every not a dude fireable saying, offense. Yeah, every dude says the worst shit on the planet. So he gets a huge settlement to mm-hmm. get because they fired him out of that deal and i it was rumored that it was in the 17 million dollar range and then what was it two three years later he's back mm-hmm. and it seems like they're overcompensating for it now so they give him this show they let him take over extra mm-hmm. and they set it up where billy bush is like the the harvey levin where it's all about him and his employees and he's mm-hmm. drinking waters and it is very tmz ish mm-hmm. and He's going around, and it's like, man, B. Bush, you were not that cool, and all of it feels like weird and kind of forced, and uh, mm-hmm. cre- it's creeping me the fuck out. I liked Billy Bush in, so for a while he was doing stuff with like Hoda, and he would do things on the yeah. Today Show and yeah, like yeah. fill in for people, and I think he is a pro when it comes to hosting, mm-hmm. getting up there, turning it on, being quick. Being in it, being high energy, being fun, mm-hmm. knowing about the topics. I think he is really good. Yeah. A pro. I, before he got let go, I was like, even thinking, I was like, that guy's a pro. Like, he's really good at this. And interviewing people and all of it. Yeah. But he's now. Bu- he's bought into I'm Billy Bush. By the way, right. Jamie, we have a, a guest uh, out front, if you could look for him. Um so, he's bought into the fact that he's yes, Billy Bush. Yes. And I think that's the problem, right? Mm-hmm. Where I don't want to see him drinking coffee and talking to his staff. Uh, he's not a reality show star. He's not like that good. But he is good at the lights come on, the commercial's done, and he is good. Yeah. Right? Yes, yes. The lights are on him. Yes. He's joking with hey. the people next to him. Yeah. yeah. Um, but he has... He's, you're right. He's sort of, he's. Billy Bush is drunk on power. He's drunk on this thing of like he's vindicated. And now it's uh-huh. like his, he's going to, you know, he's going to do what he's always wanted to do <laughs> because you took it away from him. Whereas before he was, he was just filling in wherever he could. He was doing some weird ass show on some random channel with this girl from Road Rules. Really? Or Real World. Do you remember Puck's season? Oh yeah, yeah, of course. So the girl, the like shorter girl okay. that he would that he like almost was with but wasn't with and mm-hmm. they were that. So she is pretty quickly after that uh started hosting stuff and now she's like a rep whatever, has a show, she's been a host yeah. for a very long time. Okay. Um Kit. Remember? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Shit, you could have just said that. I, Sorry, I'd like, I was thinking Rachel for some reason, but that was the girl from. Oh, I know the Rachel. I know who you're talking about, too. Yeah, yeah. Eric. What was his. Yeah. Remember? Oh, yeah. What was his full name? I don't know. Anyways, but he was the MTV guy. Yeah. Eric Jams or something. Yeah, Yo, something MTV like Jams, yeah, yeah, something. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, his face is in my mind. So he, yeah. His body's. Also On yours. In somebody's mind, so it's yours, yeah. It's nobody's. We don't even know what you're talking about. Happy Valentine's Day. (laughs) (laughs) He was cute. If I saw him now, I'd be like, oh, probably not. Mm. I bet he held up. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to look into that. Um. Anyway, so he was with her. He he just wasn't that big in the scene. He was a fill in. Yeah. He was great at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And someone lied to him because he is nothing of the sort. 
Uh, I, I, I have a hard time with it. And the reason why is I usually get home around 630. Right. We will have the news on in the background. Some so it's form either of, Muir. Whatever. A- ABC, NBC. We really don't care. Some form of news to keep up with whatever's happening at the time. You hate uh, you hate Mir. I though. hate fucking David Mir <laughs> so much. We were gonna do Amer- a Mir Americas. We were gonna do a Mir part on you, remember? Because his part, you guys, is so far over. Really far. It's uncomfortable. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, America um, is uh, is his whole fucking deal. I love it. I, uh, I hate him because uh. it's. If you if you listen closely to ABC News and David Mir, who's he's got the the highest rated news show. Um, I think it's just the time slot. It's just that time. Don't you think? Well, no, because they're, they're all on at 630. So okay, th- that, that's, that's kind of the gig with it. Local okay. news is guaranteed the 6 o'clock slot. And then anyone else is the 630. Is the 630, okay. yes. So th- they measure their ratings against each other. Yeah. And he's clear and, and far above everyone else, right? Okay. Um, as he's gone on and as this presidency has gone on, every single turn, and it's very slight, and, and they try to make you not notice it is like, but, you know, Trump did this great thing, but then fuck him on this, and then yeah. everything else in impeachment and everything else. Like, mm-hmm. every single night, I'm like, all right, you guys are all in on this. Right. I'm, I'm all done with your fucking bullshit, David Muir. Uh, so I'm, I'm off that train, and then it usually leads into something happy. Because we watch the news just to, for you and I to try to catch up on the day for tomorrow's shows or whatever they're going to be. And then uh, then it's something happy. Try and be informed. What is it? Access Hollywood or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. It comes on afterwards. Yeah. And then. No, it's um, Entertainment Tonight and then Extra. Uh, extra. Yeah. So that'll be on in the backgrounds mm-hmm. at some form. And then, yeah, just watching B. Bush. I'm just like, eesh. I know. You know? Believe um, me. I can't get down on it. And that's the shitty thing is that I used to like him. So that's why I'm just like, oh, you you killed the puppy. Yeah. You squeezed it too hard, Billy. <laughs> and now it's dead in your pocket. Where's okay? Jenna Bush, dude? I'm, I get down on Jenna Bush. She's great. Are they, I mean, are they really that closely related? I don't cousins know. cousins or something? Yeah, there's something. Meh. And the Bush family is always taking weird like pictures Like Jenna's together. a real Bush. Yeah. Like she's daughter. Yeah, yeah. You know what she, I mean? She's a real Bush. I don't know what... <laughs> She's got a real calm bush down, on her. Yeah. Real down. bush on her. Happy <laughs> Valentine's Day, everyone. Um, no, but she she's a real bush. I'm not sure what Billy's fucking sitch is. Kind of like a, Jimmy he's Carter's a twice weird removed brother or yeah. something. Yeah. Remember Bill Clinton's weird fucking brother or cousin or whatever? Um, no, nobody remembers. Exactly. Yeah. So I think Billy Bush is like that in the Bush family where it's just like, sure. yeah, I think we're related. Okay. And you can't come to the shit. Like, you definitely can't come to. The picnics and the family reunions and things like that. But sure. like, if but you we'll want to use, the, use name, the name, yeah, yeah, we're fine with you it. You want to like, get yourself a little show on, right? We're not going to name you, make you change your name to Billy Shrubs, you know? Right? Like you can, you can keep the Bush Billy name. Johnson or whatever. Well, yeah, some some form of Bush, obviously, um, a shrub, uh, you know, a wall Billy wild. Hedge. Yeah, Billy Hedges. You know, <laughs> like you can still be Bush. Yeah, we're fine with that. Yeah, but uh, let's not go. Mm-hmm. You know, putting up presidential pictures and portraits in the background, like we don't yeah, want to yeah, see yeah. that. Yeah, you're not going to do a memoir. Or no, anything no, of no, like no. N- nothing of the sort of what it was like growing up, Bush. You know, yeah. Uh, and all I keep thinking in my mind now when I see him in this show is, I was like, God damn it, man, he's richer than all of us. You know, this little fucking goob is richer than all of us. <laughs> and it's a weird thing when I see like him dapping like you know celebrities and shit like that, where it's just like. Man, if you weren't running this fucking entertainment show, no one would f- would hang with you on the reg. It's not like you're going to call Billy Bush to throw down for wings. Now, if you're doing f- coke and looking for somebody to bring over, you know, Coors Light at night, yeah, Billy Bush is probably the do you call. Sure. But he's not your fucking bro hand where you're like, hey, man, let's watch six hours worth of MMA together and then just rap about life. You know, I'm going through a divorce type dude. Yeah. So... He played himself. Got a little, uh, little uh, overexposed on this show. Watch it if you're at home tonight. Just flip it on, and then you give me your thoughts on it. Um, also, want to give you a quick update on the show we did yesterday with the Hillary Clinton stole my credit card thing. Mm. Millions of matches, messages. Um, I, we loved the show as much as you did. It was a fucking blast and really hilarious. And I'm not even mad at the troll of someone stole the Drinking Bros podcast credit card and, and charged 
No. Uh, it to the Hillary Clinton campaign. No. Dan and I actually thought it was pretty funny, and um, whatever. They're going to send out new credit cards, and we had a good we had a good hearty chuckle over it. However, we did get a bunch of messages that said, "Hey, man, there is like weird progressive waitresses and things like that um, who uh. are taking numbers." And there and and I got. I would say seven or eight of these messages from different listeners who said they're only charging $5 simply for the fact, and they'll, they'll do it with hundreds of cards, uh, simply for the fact that typically a person is going to breeze by $5 and be like, eh, maybe I charge that. Right. Like, that's not a big enough dollar amount, but when you're doing it hundreds of times, you're bringing in a lot of money, and, uh, and they said, watch for that. That maybe that's what triggered the phone call was, this has been happening a lot, and uh, you know, eh, what's five dollars? You know, on a credit card, you're really not going to think about it, and maybe you're getting a weird charge from overseas because with everything you're buying online now, you're getting these weird charges later on down the road of like a dollar, you know, from like Europe or something, and you're like, what the yeah. fuck was that for? Was that yeah. Amazon? Was that T-shirt I bought? What was it? Right. You never really challenge it. What are you going to do? Spend an hour on the phone with Bank of America and charge? You know, tr- try to take a dollar charge off your card? Yeah. No. And the $5 thing, like, yeah, man, fuck. At the end of the month, if I wasn't called, I probably wouldn't have given a shit about it. No. And I think that's what they're doing. And this is what six or seven of our listeners had messaged me specifically of like, hey, these chicks know it. These waitresses yeah. know it. And, uh, you know, they know the, the show. And it would be. Care? Jeez. Yeah. But if you're doing it hundreds of times, thousands of times. by the way, times, what is the Hillary Clinton campaign even doing right now? Well, unless she's going to fucking jump back in. We don't know. So the nothing of the sort insult, I forgot where I heard it. Do you remember New York? New York. I love New York from uh, Black Flavor Girl of love, for yeah. Flavor of Love. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. It's a, lo- a lot of people have been saying it, but I love it so much. Mm-hmm. She just said she was talking about somebody in the show and they were like, she said somebody lied to her several times and told her that she was fly, hot and sexy and beautiful. And she's nothing like that. She's nothing of the sort. (laughs) And it's so bad, but good. Like, it's so. It's a nice bitchy reply for a girl. And you are nothing of the sort. And you're nothing of the (laughs) sort. I don't know. Don't think that you are of the sort because Because you are nothing of the sort. You are nothing of the sort. Because you're not. Uh, the last thing I want to update you on is uh, right before we, I walked into the studio, I saw the trailer for sh- the new Stranger Things. Oh. oh. Hopper's forgot Alive. They were doing, thought they were do- I forgot they were doing another one of those. Hopper's Alive. And they're in Russia. So, so it appears as if they're going to on a rescue uh, mission to Russia, which mm. is classic 80s. That's... That's true, huh? That's the next logical step. Very rush. We're all scared of Russia. In, in, in the, the 80s. 80s. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, I can get down with it. I What is this, season four? Yeah. I think. Is this the last one? I think they should maybe end it after this one or the one after. Yeah. yeah. But again, I, I my prediction was, hey, let's end it when they graduate high school. Have one more mission before they go off to college. Yeah, and then maybe likes... come back in like 10 years when everybody's careers For sure. have teetered off. And you're like, hey, man, now we're parents and we're moving back to this town. The college years have never done well on ever, shows. Ever, 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 ever. 90210, Saved by the Bell. Yep. Once it gets into the college years, we're all checked out. You're done, son. Yeah. So let's end this. Let's wrap it up in high school. True. Let's have them graduate and then come back afterwards. Yeah. Um, the master of this was One Tree Hill. That's what they did. That ended high school. They went from high school and then jumped ahead uh, like 10 years. Oh, that's right. They just. And it just kept rocking, dude. So. Okay. There's one person. There's one show that's done it and been successful for, what were they on, 11 years? They were here in Wilmington. Right. You drive through this town. It's a One Tree Hill town. You're a One Tree Hill guy. Dan you Scott know, Motors. I don't know. Dan Scott Motors. They're, they're everywhere, man. They're still doing it. Homegirl's still doing shit. Sophia Bush. No relation. Oh, yeah. She's everything of the sort. No relation. <laughs> no relation, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Just a bush. Just a random bush out there. Just a, a strange bush. Just a strange bush. Just some strange bush out there. Good for her. Yeah. Good for her. Good for her. Who says that in real life? Uh, good for her? Yeah. Uh, was that Rachel Drash Probably in not SNL? white people. I think it was huh? Rachel Drash in SNL, right? Oh, was it? Oh. Yeah. Uh, the Boston, during the Boston ones? Yeah. Oh, good for her. Yeah, maybe. 
Oh uh, no, no, I think it was Sherry O'Terry. Oh yeah, that's yeah, very yeah, yeah, Sherry yeah. O'Terry for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Uh we'll get to the revolutionary figure of the day. This is the this is the first time we've ever done a show, I believe, on Valentine's Day. Uh so we'll give it to Saint Valentine. <laughs> uh widely recognized third century Roman saint commemorated in Christianity on February fourteenth. So now is it Valentine or Valentine? <laughs> <laughs> You going with a, you an M versus remember an Val- N? Happy Valentine's. <laughs> mm, nope, <laughs> it's definitely not that. It's the worst of times. It's, it's the, the Valentine's. Valentine's. Did you say that as a kid? I think so. I think everybody at some point has said Happy Valentine's. Yeah. And not really known. No. no. What it was? Especially. Especially on Valentine's Let Day. Let me ask I think. you something. I'm gonna, we're going to tell our guests here because we're about to do a drinking bros after this. Um, we're going to tell our guest here as I want you to have this conversation with him afterwards. She, my what? wife thought it was Hole Kogan. Last name Kogan, not Hulk. A long time ago, Kogan. dude. No, she thought it was H U L L. It wasn't recent. C O G A N. It wasn't recent. It was before I knew about things. Well, here's the thing when guests come in, Jesse. They need to know how stupid I am. Yes. That's fair. And that's you're, fair. Because we're not saying Valentine's Day to people, and <laughs> or somebody recently said, "Happy New Year's." Happy New Year's. Oh yeah, yeah. Instead of New Year. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Someone. I'm, I'm gonna say it to the waitress tonight when older, we're out. Older. Yeah. yeah. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yeah. Can I? But with a total straight face. Yeah, 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 sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. For sure. For I'm sure. Down. I'm down. Uh, James, happy Valentine's Day. Love you. Proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. You're beautiful. Thank you. Yes. Uh, for Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I'm Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Uh, rate us on iTunes. Give us five star. Um, the, the advertising agency wants it, so we have to do it. Look, but you guys like it. You're saying that you like it. If you could just move those comments over to iTunes, that would really help us It'd out. It'd be great. Uh, I've, we never request for it, and, and the... the the reason why we're I trying ask, to keep it free. The reason How about why I that? asked, they're like, I don't understand, like ratings wise, like why there's not more stars. And I was like, we never ask, man. We don't ask. We've just been on for years with millions and millions you of listeners, get, you and can't. never asked ever, ever. Yeah, you can't uh, get we are now. Down if you just don't to, ask. to cheer them up. Hi, sure. studios. Congratulations. <laughs> Looking forward to tonight, Jesse. It's gonna be a blast. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Old love. Old love. Old love. Good night, everyone. Good night.